Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be actually setting up my budget planner for September 2023. And y'all, my fingernails have gone through it, went through it, been through it. I'm going to have to just basically just pretty much suck it up and go get my nails done. I've gotten so comfortable with just not having to go wait because my nail technician, she does not do appointments. Because I know a lot of you guys had uh, mentioned to get an appointment, but she doesn't do them. So it's first come, first serve. So yeah, so that's the only thing. So I don't know, I might slide up here to one of these shops closer and see what I can do. But other than that, anyways, hope you guys have been doing good. And um, if you have not already set up your September budget, pull out your budget planner, pull out your budget utensils, necessities, accessories, and let's get started. Okay, all right, so I did end up getting, and we're going to go to September. I did end up getting um, the extra, because um, I know I didn't have an amount for AEP, which I got my bill, y'all. I don't know what it is, but the bill was only $128. I was super excited. I was like, what is happening? All right, and the Xfinity bill, remember I told you I got that bill down and that was for $75. So, and so basically, we're just pretty much like 200 and some change because usually, y'all remember my AEP bill was basically like $270 or 250 with the old house. It was crazy. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys. So let's go ahead and go back to our monthly calendar. This is basically where I kind of like jot down like all of my um, bills. This is kind of like a fun calendar, which you can do. All right, so we are actually going to go ahead and I'm going to add these stickers and set up my monthly bill planner. I used to do this a long time ago. So we're gonna pretty much speed it up. So let's get started. it we have our monthly calendar and you don't have to use stickers for this you can actually use like just pretty much like how I did the mouth liner so you pretty much um, can use whatever you want all right so I did put these these are kind of to track my um, I got these this idea from like one of my viewers they said they actually use the coffee stickers to track when they go to eat out like McDonald's or if they go to Wendy's or something like that they can track how much they spend a week um, on eating out fast food and then as you can see, I have all the bills that I'm supposed to have, my cash stuff in days, and then we have our pay days. And then our notes, I wanna stay on target with bills and budget. And then for budget focus, I wanna focus on paying debt. So save, save, save. All right, so let's go ahead and turn over. All right, so last month's wins was, I was able to, I got my bills down. Um, and what I mean by that, I called to get lowered. So I was very excited about that because um, a couple times I had to say like, hey, somebody else gave me a better rate or somebody else gave me a better deal and then they were able to actually do something with it. So I'm like, so when I say I'm leaving, <laughs> then you can give me a deal. All right, so debt payoff, we are working on our grand's um, furnishing and I still, I can't spell, 
and I still have not got the ottoman that we're supposed to get so it's still back ordered so I'm still kind of um waiting on that oh and let me tell you all right thank you guys for being so much patient with me with these binders so I did order a big stock of them so when I do get them in they won't be for pre-order anymore they will actually be here um, in my office so basically when um, I do have it um, I can basically ship them off um, so that's why I did keep the pre-order on there so I'm like thank you guys so much because I'm like where are these binders at so I did message them and they said they are at sea so I'm like so they own the boat they own the boat so I have not forgot about y'all about those binders I'm just waiting for them to come in so that's the same thing I'm gonna do for my um, budget planner um those are made here so i get them made locally um so those should be like it probably take about a week or something for them to actually make them and send them to me um so the budget planners um i want to make sure i get them and have them so that basically when i post them up i can actually ship them out um so that way i'm not splitting it up with like shipping this one time and then shipping the other stuff another time because that gets super confusing so like i said thank you guys so 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 much for being patient with me with those binders i'm like what is going on all right so back to this so we got debt payout grand furnishing so we want to pay that off we do have an 18 months no interest um but i'm gonna pay it off a little bit more um no spends um i'm gonna work on maybe i'm gonna try to do a no spend month try to but for right now i'm going to try to do 10 no spins for this month um and then what i'm going to do for that is with my tracking um i probably go back to what i used to do with tracking um every week and i would just put my no spin stickers down to put the days that i had no spin in that way i can pretty much count um no spins um investment goals i'm going to continue to deposit to roth ira um, I do have a direct deposit going in there and then try to add extra. But if I can't do that, that's okay. Like I said, I'm not going to stress myself. I'm not going to push myself too much to try to do too much. So saving goal, we're going to do at least a um, hundred a week to savings. And that is basically an automatic transfer. So that's what that is, automatic transfer. All right, and then it goes to Ali, Al, Ali, Ala, Ala. I think that's how you pronounce it, Ala, right? I know one time I tore it up and you guys was like, Tina, no, that's not how you pronounce it. All right, so then we have Labor Day. Um, that is on the, is that on the 4th? I think that is on the 4th. That's Monday's date, let's see. Yep, that's on the 4th, so that's Labor Day. So let me go ahead and write that on here okay all right so that is our budget month outlook you can go more detail i just kind of skim a little bit um my monthly bill tracker i've already pretty much um done this i did this on one of my um instagrams and um so pretty much this is just our uh, my monthly bills that i have a write down and then at the end of the month i do categorize spending so next we have our paycheck budget so the first paycheck date will be the first so that will be the week of the 1st through the 14th. And I do stop a day before because basically all these bills are going to go to the next paycheck. So that's why I always stop like the. And this is actually y'all my mock-up. This is not my mock-up book. This is my proof book that they sent me. So as you can see, the paper is because the one that I made, it was just basically just to kind of see, kind of figure it out and make the book. But you can see the paper is a lot thicker than what my little book was. So I kind of, I just pretty much um, put my dividers in here and um, yeah. So yeah. All right, so let's continue. All right, so next page we have, next payday will be the 15th and that will be um, the 15th through the 28th. And then the next paycheck will be um the 29th and that will be the 29th through the 30th all right so this is my bi-weekly paycheck now if i do um because i try to pay myself on the weeks that i'm not having a paycheck from my nine to five 
So I will just put that here as the extra, but I wanted to keep this pretty much in line because this is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but yeah, I do like the feel of this paper here because my little paper wasn't hitting it the one I was kind of like doing this thing on. Okay, so here we go right here. So um, these are weekly tracking. So this is where I track my spending and then I do the same thing on the bottom, the color coding to track my spending. So um, how I do that, I just do, we do the first and I stop at Sunday. So you have five weeks in here. So you go the first through the third, I always stop on Sunday. So the first through the third, and then here will be the fourth through the 10th. All right, and then the next day will be the 11th through the 17th. And then, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna show you guys my new savings challenge too. I didn't show that. I've had so much going on y'all. 18th, yeah, so much. I mean, don't we all have a lot going on through the 24th? All right, so the 25th through the 30th. All right, so the 25th through the 30th. So basically, I'm just pretty much setting this up. Debt Snowball, so we have Discover. I'm just gonna write the names of them. We have Wells Credit Card, and now we have Grin's Furnishing. And I did end up putting my little sheet here. That's why I said I like the disc, because you can like add sheet, print them out, and add them and stick them wherever you want to. So next month, I can just pretty much just roll this into my um, August um, section here. All right, so we have that. And then this is like extra sheets if I get extra cash or extra money. And then this is right, I can do like confirmation numbers or whatever, whatnot. I can get those pretty much done. And then here we just have, like I said, my debt payoff tracker I just added there. Y'all, this is all for us setting up my budget planner. So um, yeah, and like I said, um, I want them to go ahead and start production for um for these planners so that that way it won't take so long to get them out right, now to right. move to my new savings challenge all right so this is my new savings challenge that i have here it's called the 54 week pink cloth savings challenge remix so basically you save one thousand six hundred thirteen dollars this is a little bit more than my 52 weeks i've been working on this but kind of holding it back but basically um it's pretty much almost the same concept as my 52 weeks um, and plus y'all with the video stuff, I had to do something different, but, um, you have, these are different amounts here, but a couple weeks you have a pink cloth week right here, a pink week. So these are like just random different months. These numbers are all scrambled up. So it's not like a certain order or anything like that. Just something fun. And then it's also good, like, cause but the 52 weeks when you get a little bit higher you don't have i mean they have like low amounts too but um because you don't always have like 70 dollars, and then when it goes to like 49 50 51 52 um you don't really have that much so i kind of spread it out a little bit so that the increments aren't too bad um to actually save and then you should be able to do this and then just pretty much do it again over and over and over again so this is on my website also so this is my new savings challenge there you go all right guys thank you so much for chilling with me and also follow me on my instagram and my tiktok and then like i always say until next time guys peace